Preschool is also known as nursery or the early years stage and caters to children from birth to the age of five. Education is not compulsory at this stage. Compulsory education in England begins the school term after a child turns five. Before we compare preschool providers, you should learn about Ofsted, the Free Early Education Scheme, and the Early Year Foundation Stage. Ofsted is the Office for Standards in Education, Children's Services and Skills. They are responsible for regulating and carrying out inspections of schools and childcare providers, and publish all the reports online, including a list of outstanding providers. Free Early Education is a state-funded scheme providing 15 hours of early education a week for free for 38 weeks a year. Funding is available to all children ages 3 and 4, and in some cases as young as 2, up until the start of primary school. This applies to any type of child care provider, as long as they're registered with Ofsted. Lastly, there's the Early Years Foundation stage. This is the first key stage of the national curriculum, which outlines the learning and development requirements for children under the age of five. The curriculum is mandatory for almost all child care providers who care for preschool children. Now let's look at the most common child care settings. You can choose from nursery schools, day nurseries, play groups, or child minders. Keep in mind that some of the terms used to describe a setting may vary by location or provider. Each will offer something different, and what meets your needs will depend on you and your child's requirements. Nursery schools are different from other providers in many ways. First, they only take children from the age of three, whilst other providers take children as young as three months old or at the age of two in the case of playgroups. Nursery schools also operate during the school term. Other providers vary, but mostly offer flexible care throughout the entire year. Nursery schools employ qualified teachers. Staff are trained and qualified in other providers, but they are not necessarily teachers. In terms of their location, nursery schools are either strictly a nursery school or attached to a primary school. All other providers operate in other non-domestic or domestic settings. Although most providers will focus on the early years curriculum, nursery schools may offer a more direct and structured approach to education. Other providers may have more focus on play. Let's explore each provider. There are two types of nursery schools. First, there are independent schools. They are privately run and charge fees. And if they perform well, may opt out of the state curriculum if they wish. For example, Montessori and Steiner schools have their own educational approach and philosophies. The second type are local authority or maintained schools. They are run in a similar way, but are under the contract of the local council, in other words, the state. They are free and provide the state's early year curriculum. In addition to these two types of schools, there are also special schools for children with disabilities and special needs. Nurseries offer daycare to children from a couple of months old. They are flexible, operating the length of the working day, and are mostly run privately and charge fees. They may also be family-run or daycare offered in children's centers, like Sure Stewart. They should not be confused with nursery schools. Play groups are also called preschools, sessional groups, or play schools, and are held in three-hour playtime sessions, often with parent supervision. They help ease your child into a social environment and are mostly not-for-profit and run by volunteers, so they tend to be much more affordable than nurseries. Finally, Childminders are self-employed daycare providers. They are home-based, usually in the childminder's home, and are allowed to care for a maximum of six children under eight years old, of which usually no more than three may be under the age of five. They charge on an hourly basis and work to the same rules as other providers. So registered childminders are also inspected by Ofsted. If they are accredited, they exceed basic standards. Here are some useful links if you would like to learn more or search for a childcare provider.